Well, they're inspirational, creative, vibrant, and they love Edmonton. Tonight, we are getting an exclusive sneak peek at Avenue Magazine's Top 40 Under 40. Our Erin Isfeld is hosting tonight's event, and she's joining us now with more on these winners. Erin. Well, Daryl, here it is, hot off the presses. A very well-kept secret until tonight. In just a few moments, we will be unveiling the top 40 under 40. These are the most influential and community-minded people right here in our city. Now, there were about 200 nominations, and the judges had to whittle that down to about 40. So a really tough task. Here are just a few examples of some of the nominees. The biggest issue yet. Packed with some dynamic and inspirational stories. It's Avenue's inaugural Top 40 Under 40. This generation encompasses the risk taker, the entrepreneur, leaders of today moving our city into tomorrow. I think it's a real vibrant group to be part of. She is Christy Morin. Along with volunteers, she's planted the seeds of Alberta Avenue revitalization by going back with art and community to the grassroots, revitalizing business by growing the Carrot Cafe, a meeting place now for many. I think my vision is realizing the power of people and working together. I have seen on 118th Avenue that people together as a collective all fit, that there's all a place for everybody. Thanks very much. And I'm constantly like terrified that we're going to lose this gem. She is Cheryl Feldstein. Environmental activism is in her blood as the executive director of the Wildlife Rehabilitation Society, saving more than 1,000 animals a year, giving them a voice. My biggest vision is to see that everything that we have is preserved for future generations. It's so important, and especially um, for the children in Edmonton, to really have that connection with nature. Ukrainian dance is as Albertan as the wild rose here. She is Susanna Brighton. The words Edmonton and Shimka are synonymous. The company has performed with the likes of Andrea Bocelli, Julie Andrews, and Christopher Plummer. The recognition of people like that helps Edmonton become more known on the world stage as a, a place to come, a place that knows the direction that it's headed and is very supportive of the people who are helping it to grow. That was the 985th person on Twitter in the, in world. the world. I like the tinkering and figuring out how it happens. He is Mac Mail. Tech guru and passionate blogger, he has his pulse on the city, mobilizing Edmonton's young and old to get with the times and to change their community by communicating. I guess the vision is one where people are more involved because they have more information and they connect with one another uh, more easily than they can today. The peer influence is great. She is Janetta Jamerson, battling racism through acting, song and dance. She helps Edmonton's black youth overcome their insecurities at the Kashotu Leadership Academy, which in Swahili means our future. I would like to see the Aboriginal community be able to benefit from this type of model. I'd like to see some of the other ethnic communities tap into this and see the same uh, just fabulous transformation in their youth that we've seen in ours. Full stories and all 40 winners can be found at AvenueEdmonton.com or by picking up one of these magazines that is now on newsstands. I have to go now, hand out some of this hardware. It is going to be a spectacular night. Back to you in the studio.